Hello everyone, in this tutorial we're going to talk about the easiest way to create a GUI using Java. So the easiest way um, that I've noticed to create uh, a GUI is with NetBeans. NetBeans has a, an easy way to create the GUI. Um, it automatically um, adds the code for you as far as the creation. Um, and what we're going to do is start with java so we're, we're we just hit this link here and this link here is just to create a new project let's cancel so you can see it so it says new project new file and you can also go under file and new project as well so we're just going to hit this button here and we're going to create a new java product uh project and it says create a new java se application in a standard hide project you can also generate a main class in the project. So we're going to create a Java application here. So we're going to hit next. And this is just our project name. So we're going to say easy GUI. And easy G that works. And so from here, what we're going to do is you highlight source packages and you can right click it new j frame form and this is a way to create our gui so we're going to click that uh, we're going to keep the class name as new j frame we're going to finish and you see our new gui here and we can stretch it out uh, make it as big as we want to and it automatically uh, has our it populates the tools we'll need for our gui depending on what type of gui you want it to create uh, so we have different panels here and panels uh, gives it a cleaner look and if you right click the panel uh, you can change the variable name if you need to you can also change the way the the border looks or the the panel looks so we're going to make it uh, give it a different border here so we just click over here we're going to click into border under our properties so we can give it a nice uh, bevel border uh, let's see what other type of borders so, soft bevel border we'll give it that okay and you can actually also control c control v and that just creates a a second panel and it created it within it so we're gonna move it over a little bit and create a different panel here so we have two panels now and it made the window relatively big so we're gonna uh, make this smaller again So this is just uh, to clean up our, our GUI. We can uh, separate different things, like if we had radio buttons or uh, if we had checkboxes or whatever types of things you want to add to your GUI, you can add them. So for this, uh, for the, this demonstration, we're going to add some labels here. And like I said earlier, you can right click and you can just type, uh, label it as something different. So we're going to name it panels. And just like I showed you before, you can change the, the font over here. You can, under your properties window, you can change the font. There's a, a lot of different fonts you can use. We're going to use Arial Black. Uh, let's go bold. And let's use a different font size here. So font size of 48. And we're just going to stretch this out so you can see the entire word. And we're going to control C, control V. And that just creates a duplicate. And we're just going to move this over here. And you can always change the variable name. Uh, so this is JLabel2. So it automatically changed it from uh, 1 to 2 since we created a new one. Uh, change variable name. So this is the first one. So that's something good. So we're just going to center these. We're just labeling our panels here so we can also put a J label here uh, we're gonna create a, a label for our GUI here so we're gonna name it easy G UI so let's highlight this change the text here change the font and we're gonna use the same font Arial black bold and let's see if we can change this font 
Let's make it 60. Enter. All right. And we're going to center this. Uh, make it look a little nice. And depending on what type of code you wanted to add, like I said, you can make your... Let's change. Let's edit the text here. So easy. GUI. All right. We're going to stress this out a little bit so you can see the entire word. All right. Looks good so far. And like I said, you can add anything you want to these. Uh, it's just adding the code afterwards to ensure that it works. So we can add a text box here or let's, let's add a, let's see. Yeah. Let's add a text field here. And we're going to edit the text and just empty that text out. And we're going to control C, which is just copies this and control V and just duplicates it and we're going to move this actually to this panel here and as i said before it should automatically change the variable name uh, so since this is a text field i usually name it either txt i'll make it lowercase txt and this is panel two and i'll name this txt and I'll name this panel one. All right. So now that we have those two text fields, all right, looks good. You can line them up, change them. I'm gonna add a button as well. So we're gonna add a button here. And just like everything else, you can change the variable name. You can change the, the name on the button. So just edit text. And we'll say panel two button. And you can make the button as big as you want, as, as many words as you want in the button. Uh, it just depends on the function of the button, what the button is going to do. Uh, usually it's an enter OK or something, um, just confirming some type of command. So I'm going to name this panel one button all right so we have two panels here we have text fields we have buttons we can get some check boxes let's get a check box here we're going to name this chat box let's name it um gui fun and if you want, as I said, you can control C, which copies it and control V and bring the second GUI fun over here and just move some stuff around and we're going to rename this. So we're going to name it GUI fun two. All right. So we got text box in both. Got panels in both. Uh, let's make this panel look a little better here. Uh, let's grab the wrong thing. Let's move this field over. Okay, so we have to make the panel smaller first. All right, now move this over. All right. We got check boxes, we got text fields, we got buttons. We have a lot of different uh, fields to play with in our, our GUI. So as I said, depending on what your GI, GUI is used for, you can set up different code, uh, different functions for your text field, uh, different functions for your, your buttons as well. So, so to set up our button, well, let's remember our text field variable name here. Our variable name is txt panel one for this one. So let's go ahead and and our text field for our checkbox is let's see what we named it. I'll say okay. So we're gonna change this to chk short for checkbox, and we're gonna say gui. Let's do it like that. All right, so. In order to add code, what we can do is just double click 
whichever uh, either the checkbox text field the button we just want to double click it so we're gonna double click the panel button and when we double click it it goes where our code should go for the button so it creates this private void function and all we have to do is add the code here what we want the button to do so for this button we're gonna say um, let's say adds text to our text field and just for demonstration purposes we're just going to add some random text here uh, just to show you how our how our button function works so we're going to say so remember our, our variable name that's the that's what we need to remember when we uh, write the code for this so we can select our change variable name and it selects our variable name here and we see we have j well we have txt panel one we're going to cancel that go back to our source and remember going from source to design these buttons here uh, makes it an easy transition to go from your source to your design and what we're going to do is we're going to txt panel one that set text and remember we got to have our parentheses here to set our text so we want to say uh, easy GUI alright so let's go back to our design and if this button is uh, selected it sets our text to easy GUI so if we de debug our file so we go here debug file it's gonna populate our GUI all right, so you see we have our GUI here, and when I select our button, it populates our text field with easy GUI. So this is just an easy way to uh, add some text to a field um, if you wanted to with our button. This button doesn't do anything. Uh, selecting our check boxes doesn't do anything because we haven't added the code yet. So we're going to add some code to get rid of our text fields uh, to... If, if this is selected, then our text will say something else. So we'll add a little bit of code in there just to uh, show you guys something different. All right, so now we're just gonna close out our GUI and we're gonna go back to our button code. So remember, you can either just go to your source and if you remember where the code was, you can do that or you can go back to your design and just double click our button here and it goes back to our the field that the uh, whatever you double click so we're gonna double click uh, so we're gonna move this over and I always like to get a clear button here so we're gonna go to get another button here and we're just gonna right click edit text clear just write that in there and we're gonna double click this and get to our clear button so this just uh, clears out everything so clears let's say panel one text field all right so what we're going to do is txt panel one remember that's our variable name for our text field and we're going to say set text and just an empty string here and that is it so these are just easy examples. There's so much more code you can add to develop this uh, GUI, but this is just a simple demonstration. So what we're going to do is go back to our design. We're going to go to the bug file here at the top. We're going to wait for our GUI to load. And we have our GUI here. So let's go ahead and hit our button. And we see our button populates this uh, easy GUI string here and we can clear it with our clear button so both of these buttons currently work so we have two buttons that work now so now we're going to work on our checkbox so in order to work on our checkbox we're going to add a if statement so we're going to say if our checkbox is checked then and if our panel button is pressed it's going to say GUI fun. Let's make it easy. So we're going to close this out and we're going to double click. 
let's see. All right, let's double click our panel button because the code is gonna go in here. So we're gonna say if, and remember to get our parentheses. Now I need to uh, remember what the, our checkbox field was named. So uh, we can click it and we can see our checkbox field is named CHKGUI. So CHK was short for check, checkbox and uh, GUI. So CHKGUI is our, our variable name. So instead of clicking, right clicking and change variable name to see it, uh, you can just select, uh, simply, simply select it and we can see it over here to our right. And it's also in this box here. So let's go back to our source. So we know it's CHKGUI. So we're going to say if CHKGUI dot is select it so if it is selected we want this to happen so we're going to say remember get our curly brackets here and if if this is selected we want our text panel to say what do we want it to say let's see so we want it to say gui fun so let's go back to our our source so let's say txc panel one dot set text I remember to get our parentheses in here so we're going to set our text to gui fun so now that we have that we're going to say else and we're going to put our curly brackets around this code we already have here. So this is, if our checkbox is selected, we want our panel to say GUI fun. Else, if it's not selected, we want our panel to say this. So let's go ahead and go back to our design. Let's go back to bug file and let's see what happens. So let's see, if we select panel one, it says easy GUI. So let's clear that. Now, if we select our checkbox, it says GUI fun. So let's clear that. So you see how that works. So every time since our checkbox is selected, every time I hit panel one button, it's going to say GUI fun. Now, if we clear that, let's unselect or deselect our, our checkbox. We see it says easy GUI. So this is just an easy uh, example and we can set this code here to be exactly the same. Uh, we can change it up a little bit. Uh, this is just a simple example of how to create a, a GUI and how to create different things within our GUI. And I think NetBeans is a really, a really easy eye to use when creating GUIs. Uh, there's a lot of different functions here uh, you can add to your GUI. Uh, it's simply adding the code or knowing how to add the code. Uh, that's the tough part and what you want your GUI to do. So if you like the video, please subscribe and like to see more.